All right, gang, and welcome back to Affinity Designer. So this is going to be one of the most asked for lessons that I've gotten from the Facebook groups, from our subscribers, from our students. So this is going to be how to create a modifiable t-shirt template in order to mock up your designs. So this lesson is all about the template. The next lesson I'll release will be all about taking your artwork in to this template in order to create your actual t-shirt mock-up. So let's go ahead and get started. This is an image I actually got from Pixabay. So we're going to go to File, Open. This is in your downloads. It's the blank T. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit OK. Now, what you're looking for is a blank T-shirt with a transparent background already isolated. This thing, folks, is super sweet. All right, so now what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and with this layer locked, you see this layer is locked, we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab the pen tool. Now the pen tool, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little bit of stroke on this bad boy. I'm going to put like down a two point stroke, give or take. And I want it black because I want to see what I'm doing. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start up here at the top. We're going to slide it on down this way. And now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to begin drawing. Now you'll see what's created here. You see the curve over in the layers created. That's completely fine. So we're going to come down here. I'm not really paying attention to where this stroke is going. Right now it's all about going through and just making sure that I've got the overall shape of this thing done. I know I'm using square nodes. I know that I'm not paying terrible attention to where this goes. That's okay. It's all fixable. Anybody that's seen the Bob the Blob pen demonstration from our course knows that you can get anywhere in a pen tool from working in these rough shapes. All right, so we're going up here, going to the armpit of this thing. Okay, go here, go there. Now, if you were doing this for real, you'd probably go a little bit smoother. I'm gonna show you how to rectify it even after you finished it. So now we're gonna go ahead and complete that. And there we have a completed curve. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to speed map this thing because you don't want to draw me draw for 45 minutes. It's probably going to take me about really in real, real time about five minutes. So let's go ahead and you're going to see me use my node tool. And I'm going to shrink this bad boy down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and now turn down this outside layer because I want to be a little more precise on the second pass to one point. And then you're going to see me move some of these nodes like this one over here. You'll see me move them over to round nodes in order to get a good flow. So that's what we're going to do. That's what you're going to see me do. All right, we'll come back after I'm done with this and we'll take the next step. All right, folks, and we're pretty much done. So what I've done is I've got my curve layer and it's on top of my background layer. This layer structure is important. Now, with this selected, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna come up to our move tool. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn off my stroke so I no longer have a stroke on this curve. And with my fill selected now, I'm going to fill it in white. All right, so you got me so far. Now let's do this. Right click, duplicate the layer, bring it below. So take a look at the layer sandwich that's created. Curve, background, curve, all filled in white. Now watch this. We're going to take the lower curve. We're going to grab the fill and I'm going to fill it in red just for giggles. Okay, so I am bright red on this thing. Okay, you see it turn bright red but it doesn't show. The reason is it's at the bottom of the stack. Now watch this. I right click on the curve and now the curve that I created, I'm gonna create a mask. So I'm gonna mask to below. Ta-da. Now watch this. This is the power of the mask. You see that we've got a little bit of red showing here. In the event that I wanted to move this because it is a mask, watch this. I can adjust this t-shirt 100% to make it work. So if I wanted to make this a little bit more in, you could absolutely move it. You see that we're adjusting the mask. 
So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and kind of hug up the mask. The fact that it's showing red doesn't really matter that much, folks. But now you're saying, okay, well, what am I going to do with this piece of wisdom here? Watch this. You take that top layer. And now with the background layer selected, you change it to multiply. Pow. Instant t-shirt template complete with all the wrinkles, all the shading, all the everything. This folks is just sex on a stick. This is awesome. So now watch this because it gets better. Let's say you want another color of t-shirt. You add an adjustment layer to this bottom curve. And now we're going to do an HSL adjustment. And now any color of the rainbow, right? So if you want an orange shirt, you make it an orange shirt. You want it a little less orange. You can go ahead and adjust the saturation down. You can make it a little darker orange. You can make it a little brighter orange, whatever you want to do. So this template now, folks, is fully modifiable and it's non-destructive. And the best part is it came from Pixababy. So it's one of those things where you didn't pay a dime to get this template. All right, now let's go ahead and save it. File, save as. And now let's call this the blank t-shirt file because I did this once before. Yeah, I want to replace it. And now you're ready to rock. All right, folks, that's about it. So on behalf of Seven Seasons Studios, one of the questions you want to ask yourself every day is, what did I create today? Today, you created the t-shirt template that will allow you to put your art on a t-shirt. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you're ready to take your Affinity Designer game to the next level, check out the course below, The Complete Guide to Affinity Designer. All right, folks, in the next lesson, we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you how to take your art into this template and then bang out a t-shirt design. All right, folks, we'll see you in the next one.